Hey folks, I wanna show you about a real super cool way to straighten your blades if they bend in heat treat and you've tried and you've tempered them and now they're warped, especially if you send them out to a heat treater who doesn't do straightening. You know, folks like Paul Boss uh, or Peter's heat treat, they'll keep your blades straight. If they come out not straight, they will straighten them uh, in, the, in, in their process. If you go to your local aerospace heat treater, they do a fantastic job of heat treating it. They do exactly what you tell them, hold the times you tell them to. However, they don't guarantee that they're going to be straight. And I have a particular steel that I'm working with right now that has a real propensity to warp. And so I have 150 warped blades that either I'm gonna have to send over to Peters to have corrected or try to straighten. The typical way people straighten is you get something like this, you clamp your blade up, and this has, sorry, this has a warp on it, and then you put something in there, counter bend it and warp and temper it again in hopes to bring it straight. When you got 150 blades and one oven and one wife, or if you had two wives, it's probably the same problem, but you will have trouble getting this done in a timely fashion. It's just, it's just gonna take too long. You know, each one of those temper cycles is two hours and how many blades are you gonna fit in your oven? And then your wife's gonna be like, you know, why do you have, you know, 150 blades in my oven? Uh, and you wouldn't even fit 150 blades in your oven, but I'm rambling. So anyway, uh, here we have a warped blade. Actually, you know, I picked one out that is twisted as well as warped. So my test, these are gonna get ground. So this is 140,000 stock. It's gonna get ground down to 105. I wanna have less than a 15,000th variation on, on it as far as warping. This is a 13,000th gauge. So I'm gonna sit this here. I'm gonna run this in. Um, oops, wrong way. It should be this way. When you're checking this, you want the, the warp down, the U downward facing. Um, this one's borderline. Um, this one's borderline. It's twisted over here, so there's no, no resistance. When you get towards the back, it's close right there. So this is out of spec, not a lot. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna grab another one. I'm running out because I've straightened those in about 10 or 12 minutes, I've straightened all those. Um, oh, this, this, is, this is a good example because this is uh, this one's also borderline, it's borderline. Like right there, it's borderline. Okay, now I'm looking for more warp. You would think I would've done this before the video, right? Oh, this guy, this, now this guy's a basket case. Look at that. Rant, 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 rant. Let's turn it upside down, Let's see what we got here. This is actually a harder type of warp to fix. Is this the right way? There it is, okay. So the warp is down. Look at that, zero resistance. Um, so this is much greater than that. So what you wanna do is take this warp side up, warp side up, right? And this is warped a good bit. I don't know if you can see it, but it's probably a hundred thousandth. If you do it this way, this is an extreme. Uh, it's probably 30 thousandths in the middle. So, okay, the first counterintuitive thing is that you're putting the warp up. Because, right, you would think you want it like this so you can pound it down. Not how it works. Uh, I haven't dug into the science behind this yet. All I know is it's working currently. Um, so you want the warp up. So that's counterintuitive. Here's what is also counterintuitive. This is hardened to 62 or 63. And this is a hammer from uh, KH Daily Knives, Kyle Daly. Nice. I heard this on their podcast. I saw a Blade Forms post. So I was like, what's this all about? So I got it from him. This is, I think it's 125 bucks. It's got a little carbide ball in it. Can you see that carbide ball? All right. Uh, and so here we got our warp. So I want to make sure I got this the right way. Yep. This way. Yep. So warp side up. Meow. Meow. Okay. Now, I just get this because the vibration goes through my hand and that doesn't feel nice. Uh, and here we go. I like to start out with this. 
So I did that side. I'm a little more aggressive usually over here because there's more steel and I'm not so apt to go off the sides. It's, uh, it's still warped, I can tell. Not as much. Now I'm gonna go down the blade down this way a little bit. I'm not gonna hit it quite as hard on this. Mainly, up. Oh, see, I don't wanna chip my edge. I didn't chip it too bad there. Oh, I chipped it again. As you will chip the edges. So I'm just, I'm hitting a little less hard here, only for the sake of, only for the sake of accuracy. You know, I don't know if you can hear me when I'm pounding on this thing. There we go. Boy, that's feeling pretty, that's a lot better. I'm gonna do a few more out here. A little more aggressive with that. Wow. Let's see if we're in spec. All right, now I put it so that the warp would be down. Let's check our gauge. Wow. Not even close to going underneath there. Fixed. Take a look at the timer on the YouTube. That didn't take very long. Guys, this is revolutionary, at least for me. The alternative was I was going to have to send these over to Peter's, pay for heat treating a second time, wait three or four weeks until I get them back. Crazy. It worked. This is amazing. Now I'm going to pause and I'm going to try a bigger knife. All right, so now we got a bigger knife here. Uh, this guy, I believe, is nine or 10 inches overall, where that guy's seven. Uh, so, not a terrible warp here. Not a terrible warp, but enough. I don't have enough quite, oops. So we want it warp side up, warp side up. Let's try it again. See what we end up with here. Perfect. That is awesome, guys. That changes things. Again, this is uh, KH Daily Knives. Uh, who who has this hammer? It's one hundred twenty-five dollars. I think I might have, I think I might have made the money back on it already, just on what I did there. So uh, thanks to KH Daily for this, and thanks to Blade Forms and the folks that showed this method. This, this is hardened steel, and it's sixty-two Rockwell. I'm doing this on sixty-two Rockwell or sixty-three. I don't know, one of those. I'm blown away. Super cool. All right, guys, till next time. We'll see you.